Hey Bubbles, this is Charlie from Charles Charlie. Today's podcast we feature Julie Baguette. She's a brewmaster and a battle ex from Georgia, USA. What's unique about Julie is that she has an Indian soul and Kali Ma tattoo on her arm. To know more about her, we'll head straight to the podcast. Cheers. Hi, I'm Brewmaster Julie Baggett, and I'm coming to you with Cheers Chatty. Hey Babos, we've got Julie here and she's speaking to us all the way from Georgia, USA. To introduce you guys, Julie is the one who launched 040 in Hyderabad. She's a battle axe and she's more Indian than most of us are. Uh, she's got a tattoo of uh, Kalima on her on her hands or her leg. Where, where do you have it, Julie? It's going to be going on my upper arm. So Julie, tell us, how this entire journey of beer started? I believe you're a medical student. I was pre-med at that point. I was a junior in college. Okay. For the first 23 years of my life, hmm. I was planning on becoming a reconstructive plastic surgeon. Okay. And then after eight years of working in healthcare, okay. I decided I was not going to go to medical school. You didn't want to, okay. Just, I didn't want to play God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wanted to take people high on a spiritual journey in a different way, I guess. Yeah, well, if you do something wrong with the East, they, the East won't see you. Exactly, but, the, <laughs> but your uh, patients will definitely do that to you. I had taken a course in the chemistry of fermentation Okay. when I was a junior in college. Oh, wow, okay. And I uh, had started home doing. Mm-hmm. And when I decided I was not going to go into medicine, my brother was small gay, Lana, and he suggested that I look into uh, brewing as a uh, career path. Well, he suggested and that I to already, you. He was the one that suggested I could be a professional doing this. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, and he even told me the school to look into, which is uh, University of California at Davis. UC Davis, yeah. Uh, I was able to uh, get in touch with Dr. Michael Lewis. What happened after the brewing school? Did you do an internship? Did you check out any places? And what happened? At that point when I graduated in 1996, this is when the first wave of breweries was really hitting the ground running. Hmm. So I had about five or six people that I'd talked to over the phone. Okay. But Anheuser-Busch sent me plane tickets to come to St. Louis before I finished my finals. Oh, wow. You spoke something about a strip club. What's that all about? I start my first day at work at this place, okay. and at lunchtime, the warehouse and packaging managers okay. tell me they're going to take me out for lunch, nice. so they end up taking me to a strip club. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, have, I have friends who've worked in that occupation, and, and that environment was not unknown to me. Yeah, it's a job so someone is doing there. anyway. Hmm. We sat there and had lunch, Mm -hmm. and I bought the pitcher of light beer when it was my turn to buy. Okay. And when the uh, dancer came to our table, I complimented her on her uh, thigh-high black leather boots and her uh, gymnastics on the pole. Oh, fabulous. We had a lovely lunch. Nice. Uh, And so I I get back to the the brewery, and uh, um, this easily offended woman asked me where we... uh, went for lunch, hmm. and I told her that we went to the strip club. I've never been invited to a strip club. It's like, would you have gone? Yeah. She's like, well, certainly not. It's like, hmm. that's why you never got yeah, it. Exactly, the first place. Yeah. That's an interesting way of introducing people and inducting people. It's not like the usual. Uh, it's unusual and, and nice. It's good to have different kind of experiences in life. My experiences in India hmm. have been overwhelming. I would be be glad to uh, be working in India again at any point whatsoever. We really want you to do because who is listening to this, Julie, as I said, is more Indian than any one of us. She wears salwar kurtas out there and and she eats a lot of uh, Indian food. She makes a lot of Indian food. She was just, she was telling me about upmas and dals and curries and chutneys and well, you also got some lime pickle as well in your in your in your yes. store. Yeah. So, uh, with all of that, I think you deserve to be in India. Your soul is Indian, I believe, Julie. What's the best part yeah. of your profession? What do you like the most? Uh, let's see. You know, I, I like making beer that other people like. Hmm. 
that I like that wins awards when applicable. Hmm. That passes the two liter drinkability test. Oh yeah, that's um, the, the biggest honor actually. Yeah. And I had my mother to tell those relatives how much money they were going to pay me. Yeah. I pretty much shut up right there. <laughs> yeah, money talks more than anything else. <laughs> my favorite beer offhand, any of the Trappist beers, I'm a big fan of. Mm -hmm. Here in America, my two favorite beers that I've had would be a uh, Radagast Triple IPA from New Realm Brewing here, brewing here in Atlanta. Okay. As well as Bell Double Cream Stout from Kalamazoo, Michigan. You know, I've been mulling around the idea of a brewing school in India. Oh, seriously? Um, okay. For several years now. I talked to him at one of the, the conferences, and I was talking about the feasibility of trying to open a, a brewing school up in India again, hmm. and that he thought it was there was a good market for it, and that the people who would be going through brewing school, the vast majority that I've talked to have had the biotech degrees. Hmm. My last assistant had a biotech degree, but had never stepped foot in a brew pub, ever. Oh. Never drank beer. <laughs> and I, I, I hired him because he was a blank slate. Okay. I could train him you in the way him, that I him. wanted him to go. Yeah. And I didn't have to break any of his bad habits. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You started from the scratch. So it's easier to work with such people, actually. That's well, what I would love to see happen is to get a brewing school. Like, UC Davis is uh, entangled in the whole and the Bush InBev industry, okay. and the highest level people from AI have come from UC Davis, and I would love for some of these, you know, larger breweries in India yeah. to come forth and, you know, contribute money for opening a brewing school, and they would have the benefit of being able to pick the cream of the crop to run their breweries in the future. I think that's a fantastic and idea. Any breweries out there that might be interesting in, interested in, in funding such an endeavor. I think you it's know, I awesome. Could, I have yeah. friends that I could bring in and guest lecture, you know, people who've had decades of experience in various parts of the industry. So who was listening out there or from the uh, craft beer industry, from the brewing industry, please take note, Julie is all set to come back to India and she's going to do a fantastic job out here. She knows the country. Her soul is Indian, what more can you ask for? And she's absolutely qualified for the job as well. So I think India does need that. And you know, it's going to be such an, you know, it's like an IM of, of brewing. That's what we need to establish out here and, and train people. It's not just about opening up craft, craft breweries out here. It's about educating people and educating and making careers as well. As you said, it's everything is a collaboration, you know. I wanted to touch base on because it, uh, I don't feel that people have got a, a proper education. Yeah. Management, management staff, and this could apply to any sort of management, hmm. but I'm going to pin it in with uh, Green in particular. My job ultimately is to be a buffer between owners and management and the staff that is under my supervision. Okay. When we all succeed, we're, we're a team, and when we all succeed, we can all take credit for it, but because I'm management, yeah. if it all goes to shit, it's my responsibility alone. I also do not believe that yelling at my staff, Yeah. But uh, and certainly not correcting a staff member in, in front of other staff members. Yeah. I, uh, behavior and uh, show them the, the correct behavior. Correct way of doing it, yeah. And tell that, you know, I don't, okay, but you did, I don't know if it It's not just about uh, one man army or anything of that sort. If the brewery does well, everyone does well. Also at a benefit, it's like if you know anybody's going to become within your, um, I guess, a two, two, Meter social yeah, yeah. is that about right for India? Yeah. Uh, 1.5 meters. 1.5 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they're close enough to be hit with a mace or a stick, stick or a lock yeah. and a sock. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, I uh, there was a couple of years ago, I used to uh, run my own self-defense initiative called uh, Wrist Woman. 
So I used to um, have a panel of uh, martial art trainers, especially women, and uh, I used to take them to un underprivileged schools in Bombay and teach the girls uh, self-defense. So I even got a brewing to brewing duel. Okay. And well, I've never felt uh, um, in in danger of my safety. Okay. Uh, while whilst in India. Uh, but I do try to grab an Uber hmm. to and from my house uh, to the brewery. Okay. If I'm not in a place where I could uh, catch an Uber, I generally carry mace, okay. a hardwood cane. Oh, that's nice. Or, yeah. maybe, a, or maybe a heavy lock and a couple of socks ah. that you can use for defense. For self-defense, yes. Yeah. I also carry a multi blade, a, a multi tool with a couple of knife blades on it as well. So if anybody tried to, yeah. So you're pretty I, well armed that way. When I'm on the street, I want to make it look like I'm not going to be an easy mugging. <laughs> That's true. And you have Kali Ma by your side, Julie. What more do you want? That's right. Yeah. So whether or not you are more than capable of taking care of yourself and. Ten other women as well. All the thugs out there, be careful. You know, you know, you don't know whom you're messing with. Hey, baboos! That's all that we have from Julie Baguette tonight. And this is Cherry from Cheers Cherry signing off. India's first and only beer podcast. Please don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor. And yes, even our social media channels. That's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. So please take care, be good to yourself, be good to the world and good night. Cheers.